Hi everyone. Blah, 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 blah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing really well. What a grim day. Really grim. Never mind. I'm gonna go through some must-have brow products. And they're probably must-have brow products for people that do have brows. I have some brows, but not not a huge amount. So this is my go-to products for brow products. What I just said, my go-to products for alopecia brows. So I'm just going to go through them. I might go. Oh. Where did I put it all? So I'm, I'm probably going to go through starting off with, no, let's just do them in random order. First off, I'm just going to tell you what I've got on my brows for the time being. So I'm actually wearing the MAC uh, Lingering Eyebrow Pencil and it has a really, really, really fine little tip on it. And I've actually recently started using this again and like fallen back in love with it. I did go and purchase a new one today because that is running very low um, and I actually got this one in tapered and they're about £16 so sort of what you'd expect to pay for MAC. Um, one side you have got the spoolie on it this time, this is the old packaging and it doesn't have a spoolie on it, not that I really need the spoolie. And then on this side, you have the, the fine point again. And I will try this out just to show you the colour difference between lingerie and tapered. So if we start off with that, I'm just going to wipe off my brows. Need a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And it's like um, so good because I'm using a brow product that I have mentioned in my previous video that really keeps your brow on, really sets it in place and works really well and it's so cheap. I love it. So as you can see I have got brows more on this side than this side. One always grows more than the other. I want to take all of the product off so you can see what these products are like that I'm going to be putting back on. Make sure I got it all off. That's that. Chuck that. Right, so I am going to do one side lingering and one side tapered. <laughs> Spoolie. So this side is going to be tapered and this side's going to be lingering. a little bit of wearing in. There I won't be able to see any difference either. Never mind. Should have just left one on, shouldn't I? Seeing as it was already lingering. Not lingering anymore. I literally just draw a solid brow on what really helps now is the fact that I do actually have some of my own brow hairs so it doesn't just look like a block of colour so this is tapered I'd say that this 
I because I wanted more of a, a true brown I'd say that lingering is a more reddish brown so let me just put this back on so you can see my eyebrows are going to be really red after we've done this video although they're actually they're not really that different probably mm, I don't really know I can't really tell the difference right at this moment in time pretty similar aren't they well that's annoying but never mind anyway it's not as if I won't use them and then my holy grail brow product to put on top is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Avocado Brow Gel in medium brown. This is like, it really sets your brows and just, they just don't budge. And that's what you need when you've actually drawn your whole brow. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it over the top just so you can see. It defines my hairs a little bit more and just gives me that set brow so it doesn't I know it's not going to go anywhere so that's with that on and I like to do my brows just as a solid color don't do any hair strokes or anything I just draw them on I quite like the natural look where they're not perfect they're just gonna be my rough eyebrow shape which that's just how I like it it's a personal preference really next I've got the Inglot gel pomade it's a little bit mashed up this one but it's quite good, it's a little bit dry. You can buy Duraline from Inglot and you just put a drop in and it just um, loosens it all up again. But I'm just gonna put a bit of Pix Plus in there. It just does the same sort of effect. Um, and then I take a, this is actually a lip brush from, oh no, it's not a lip brush, Square Detailer brush from Real Techniques. So let me take my brows off again. As you can see, that's one like that. You have to work quite hard to get that off. So it's quite a good combination of products there that just keep your brow on. That's really kept my brow on, Christ. That's really good. I'm loving that combination. This is hard work. And it's quite an easy product to work with. You just have to, I'd say you have to be a little bit more careful with this. As it uh, comes out a little bit stronger in colour in places and can almost look a little bit patchy which actually looks a little bit more like hair strokes <laughs> the only annoying thing about this one is you have to keep dipping back into the pot, pot to get your product uh, I think this is also a slightly darker brow, although it doesn't look it on camera to be honest. So I just go back in and keep going until I've got my desired 
effect that I want. I'd say this probably takes a bit more time than just using a pencil, which some days I'm up for sitting and doing them, and the other days I just want to whack them on and go. Some days I just can't even be bothered to do my brows. So they'll just end up being like a 90s brow, like really thin. <laughs> I don't really care. That's actually how much I don't care about my alopecia. Like, I just shove a brow on and go. Like, it just doesn't matter to me. It's only if I'm really going out somewhere where I want to look very put together that I will just sit and do my brows properly. But on a Sunday, roll out of bed, whack a brow on, doesn't matter what it looks like, and go. Let's try the avocado brow gel over this eyebrow. Ain't much to, yeah, you can see that's a little more defined than that one, so that's quite good. It's an option, and we love options. Gimme Brow by Benefit. Let's try that on this one, see the comparison. I got this originally, and then I used that, and for me, that is a lot more effective on my brows. I didn't find that the Gimme Brow had, it's meant to have little fibers in it, but I didn't find the payoff or that, to be quite honest with you. Let's just try it again. It's not as, it's not as liquid as the avocado one. I still prefer my I Heart Revolution and the price of the I Heart Revolution is so much better as well but that is handy because this is just one of the little travel size ones so that's handy if you're just going away and whatever. Right, time to take the brows off again or shall I not? I think what I'm going to do is go through some more brow products with you and then give you my final thoughts. So it's just options and we love options. I did love this at one point, it's the Maybelline Tattoo Brow and this in dark brown and it's literally like a dark liquid that you put on. And it is actually really good. I, there's a lot of people that say, oh, it doesn't, you know, last that long. But that will last me a couple of days. So what I would like to do is paint on my brows as if I was just drawing my brows. Yeah, I think you leave it for, I think you leave it for about an hour, I want to say. The longer you leave it, the more pigment it will have. So I leave that on for as long as I possibly can and then it dries and you peel it off and it's left your um, skin tint on your brows. I do like it, but when it starts to come off, it comes off in patches. So my eyebrow will go patchy, which then I have to fill it in. Uh, and yeah, then I've just got a trusty eyebrow, just a normal eyebrow pencil from Essence and It's just, you know, for one of those days that I'm just going to whack on a brow and go. One of those Sundays that I was talking about. And then the last but not least, I want to show you one more product. See if I can find it. Sure what I've done with it. Ah, oh, it's here. 
So it's the Laura Mercier. I always open the spoolie end. It's getting very low now. It's the Laura Mercier brow pencil. It needs sharpening as well. But it, it's quite nice. It's more of a cool toned brown compared to the Essence. So this is the Laura Mercier and this is the Essence. But that's also a really, really good brow product because it's quite waxy so it really stays and again with the avocado brow gel really good combination so that's the sort of overall brow products that I like to use for my alopecia brows and get that off my hand before I wipe it all up myself on my cream jumper <laughs> Okay, so that's my final thoughts on those brow products. My favourite combinations being the MAC Style, what is it called? Eyebrow Styler with the I Heart Revolution Tasty Avocado Brow Gel in Medium Brown. These are my favourites. Then it would have to be a joint second with actually no I'm gonna lie my Laura Mercier is a second favorite really really good brow pencil doesn't budge perfect a little bit more on the pricey side but if you're willing to invest in your brows which I think most alopecians are then give that one a go third is gonna be my Inglot um, what is it called again brow liner gel that is really good thicker sort of consistency stays on really well but thing is with these inglots they do dry out so i would recommend getting the dura line just so you've got that handy or do, do what i did and it did work and use the fix plus or any face spray would i bother with the gimme brow personally i would not buy the full size product of that for me I don't think that gives me the effect on the brows that this one does but by all means it might work for you that is good but I don't use it that often it is good but can you be bothered to sit there with wet brows for up to an hour all for them to peel off in like a day or so and go patchy hmm jury's out essence not really got much to say about that one that is just your standard brow pencil for those days you cannot be bothered so that is my final thoughts on those products i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully if you do have alopecia then you will find some of this helpful if not then I hope you found that helpful as well <laughs> because these are products that I know last on my brows so anyone that has got hair they'd probably be perfect for you as well so I hope you enjoyed this video and please give me a like and subscribe give me a comment and I will see you all in my next video bye guys